Hold on. Is that a 1959 number one Barbie? That's the number one. That is a ponytail Barbie. So here, I'll bring it here so you can look at it much closer. Um, uh, is that the original box? That's the original box, and it's signed by Ruth Handler, the creator of Barbie. That's pretty amazing. Where did you get that? Um, I just appeared at my doorstep one day. <laughs> I like to scour antique stores, and I found one that had a number one Barbie. But once you get it, then you're okay to get rid of it. It's really strange. I'm gonna try to shoot for higher, of course, but 5,000 is, is the lowest I'll go. I have never had a number one Barbie. Oh, you haven't? I've had some early Barbies, but I've never had this one. She has reproduction shoes on her because the original black ones stained the feet, and it has everything. It has the original glasses and original booklet. This is a reproduction stand, but... Okay, um, these are like incredibly rare. This is like one of the holy grails, like, you know, 2020, exactly. it really is. Well, yeah, it's a work of art. And the clothes were amazing. They were like couture humans clothes, but shrunk down. The quality was amazing. So I know the lady who designed it, she named... Her daughter was named Barbie. And her son was named Ken, right? Yes. Okay, and they were, that's where they came up with those names. When she came out, she didn't have any friends, right? No, she was like a loner. And then they <laughs> gave her a best friend named Midge. And then they came out with Ken. And then they came out with Alan. I think that was Ken's boyfriend, but they just tried <laughs> to say that it was Midge's boyfriend. Barbie was really, really iconic. I mean, the thing is, this was like literally one of the very first toys for girls that wasn't a baby doll to teach you how to be a mom. Exactly, because there were baby dolls before that. This yeah. was something to play with, and when you grow up, you're gonna go to college, you get out of college, you're gonna have a career. So I, I think that part of it was really cool. Yeah, but I wouldn't give that to my child back then. If you blew her up to human size, you know how weird she would look? Oh, I got, I don't Why know. Why do you want it so bad? <laughs> I want to sell it and make money. How much you want for it? Um, 10 grand. Okay, there's a hundred fakes for every real one. The show doesn't start for a while. Do you mind if I call my toy guy? That's fine. I'll be right back, give me a minute. Yeah. So right now I'm waiting for Steve to show up, tell me if it's real, hopefully a deal will be made. Hi, Kim. Hey, how are you? Good, good to see you. Good to see you. You, you know Kim? Uh, yeah, Kim actually has bought a few Barbies from us. Did he get this one from you? No, he's been cheating on me. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. So it's a 1959 ponytail Barbie. I, myself, have only ever had a couple of these. Pretty impressive. Yeah, you can look at it and examine. Yeah, if you don't mind. No, not at all. Barbie was a fashion doll. She was made for kids, but in reality, she was made to kind of indicate to a young girl that there was style and fashion out there. It really came out of nowhere. You know, when they came out in Toy Fair in 1959, people were kind of like, what are you going to do with that? And they took off like wildfire. You know, there was over, you know, 250,000 of these made, and a small, small fraction of those exist today. So what are your concerns with this doll, Rick? Well, first off, is it real? I know just enough to get me in trouble by a fake, so that's why I called you in. <laughs> yeah, there's a few indications on how to tell. One, the torso is hard, solid core throughout um, the smell. She should actually smell like crayon. You wanna try it? Come on, smell it. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at the iris of the eyes and seeing the actual white irises is very important because it was only the number one that would have had that. So, is it real? Um, yeah, I mean, you definitely have a number one ponytail Barbie here and it's pretty impressive. Okay, that's cool. So what do you think it's worth? There's a lot of really nice elements here, but this stand actually looks to be reproduction, which does affect the value a little bit, but you have the box, all the original accessories. And this is actually signed by Ruth Handler. That's a really interesting thing too. I've seen Ruth Handler's autograph. I can't authenticate the autograph for you, but I can tell you it looks very consistent. It's a very nice piece. I think that you have no problem whatsoever getting somewhere between you know, $7,500 and $8,000 for this doll. Yeah, right on. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Rick. Just pieces of this people would add to their collection. It's amazing. It's definitely the staple for any Barbie collector. What's your best price for it? Well, 8000 Well, yeah, that doesn't make any sense for me because I'm going to resell it. So I give you $4,500. Um, no. Um, 7000 you take five grand? No. Six thousand? I'll meet you in the middle. I'll give you 5,500. I mean, I'm not gonna get rich off you, but I can make some more. Sweet! My daughters are gonna be so jealous. Mr. Brown and I got along famously. <laughs> Why he tittled through a past? I caught the ball myself. He's got a name engraved on it. How did you end up with this?
Sounds so fun.